dear hi dear grade 7 students today i would like to talk about the eot exam coverage for science term 3 grade 7 the chapters are very less as compared to term 1 term 2 only five lessons which are dynamic earth okay so let's go to the EOT so first we have to concentrate on learning outcomes of the each and every topic okay so you can see on my screen there are <clears throat> the questions coming from the uh, topics as given totally almost 20 questions are there from the five chapters Let's go one by one in short. Uh, from this EOT, I could conclude, I mean, I can say uh, briefly that you have to concentrate on most of them are uh, the continental drift and continental movement, Alfred Wegener's hypothesis, and the rocks, types of rocks, and the formation of rocks. Okay, all this you have to touch up mainly. Okay. Okay, let's start with the first question that including with the page numbers and all. So first question is from uh, that evidence of matching coastline of Africa and South America uh, that is explained by the Wegener's hypothesis, right? So you go through the page numbers 10, 9, 11, 12. And second question, analyze the topography map by identify and interpret various features of visibility on the ocean floor how the tectonic plates formation the ocean floor uh, this is only uh, explaining through this outcomes there are page numbers 30 32 and 33 and compare between the plate boundaries according to the shape moment and location and compare the types of volcanoes and explain how volcano lands landscapes form different types of volcanoes on earth and hot spots uh, mainly this is about the uh, questions from the mcqs mainly these questions are mcqs so they mentioned the figures also 3d maps they will give you and identify the volcanoes where it will exist okay the page number includes most of the time 56 more more important is 56 58 and 59 and here the complete the rock cycle and relate types of rocks like there are three types of rocks sedimentary and igneous and metamorphic rocks and how they were uh, forming through the process of weathering okay and summarize the points very important from the page number 119 and 112 and here we go the question number five uh, it's already discussed in the question number four that if you cover the fifth question if you cover the fifth question learning outcomes that is the uh, different uh, process that change earth surface like weathering erosion deposition by physically and chemically so if you this if you study this fifth question you can cover the question four that is also same page numbers 88 90 92 and 73 next is the uh, constant motion of earth okay this is not that much important uh, let's go to question number seven uh, evidence of support the central uh, continental drift theory like glaciers features and coal deposits fossil fuels there are four uh, main points that you have to study for the evidence of uh, support the continental drift they are uh, number one the boundaries okay the boundaries of the continent of south america and uh, uh, east africa okay so that you have to study uh, so for that you need to cover the pages 11, 13 and 14 and try to identify the 3d pictures also the 3d pictures are given the uh, continental uh, drift i mean the Pongia, the Pongia structure, how the co single continent has been drifted into uh, small pieces of continents, okay, that you cover that, okay, so that you can, um, uh, you can cover up this question number seven. 
and come to the eighth question that is uh, evidence and support the clues continental drift to that four fossils so 7 and 18 almost similar uh, you can skip here uh, seventh question if you are perfectly cover up then you can cover eighth question so there are some some questions you can cover by studying uh, uh, you know the points which are included in the uh, next question like the fifth question and fourth question if you cover fifth question you can if you study the fifth question you can cover the fourth question likewise if you covered seventh question and you can cover the eighth questions okay eighth and um, next and the ninth question this is the uh, describe the earth's components like uh, crust mantella all these uh, figures you just go through once okay and components and just go for the page number 23 and 24 and next to come to the explain ocean formation ocean feature formation how the uh, oceans have been uh, forming uh, so you can cover the page number 30 32 and the next question is 11th one so as i mentioned very important is uh, the pattern of plate tectonic and their moments and speed uh, there is a numerical speed rate of uh, rate of uh, moment rate of moment that is given in the textbook page number um, <clears throat> um, yes page numbers is given here 36 and 39 okay uh, so 36 and 39 there are the questions are there you can cover that point and next one is the 12th question explain how features on the earth's surface occur i mean land and uh, land or sea flow how the sea floor bed how we are investigating through the sonar okay that uh, explanation is given in this question so how features on the earth surface occur uh, the page numbers are covered 49 and 50 so please very very important that pages we have to cover this learning uh, learning outcomes through this and list the effects of charm weathering and erosion on mountain ranges shapes and sizes okay so how this weathering uh, has been uh, changing the mountain ranges shapes and sizes okay so that page number covers 54 and 55 and next uh, a very important point is uh, differentiate between the weathering and erosion and deposition so i won't expect much questions from the earth's uh, earthquakes and uh, landslides okay so fault zones are very important fault zones and size slide uh, landslides how the landslides taking and fault zones are occurred and uh, maybe they've given the pictures also find out the fault zones that pictures okay so that you can do that one 14 question but very important question is 15 one uh, differentiate between the weathering erosion and deposition okay so weathering is what once uh, the rock uh, the fragments has been takes place but it will not move okay through the rain or wind or any other physical or chemical and erosion is just carrying movement of the rock pieces from one place to another places by the uh, wind water okay uh, whereas deposition is norm normal so the main differentiation between the weather and erosion please cover up this point you need to touch up this points very easily so from the page number 74 and 75 76 and um, 16th question predict effect of water on changing the earth surface as i mentioned 15th question is very similar to that question okay so it's similar to that question so you can cover the 16th question by covering 15 and 17th one predict the effect of wind and ice on changing earth surface okay so this is also same the three question 15 16 17 if you cover up this uh, 15th question so almost you can get the points on that see the page numbers also it's all related from page number 72 and 93 so to better cover up thoroughly 15th question so that you can cover these two questions 16 and 17 18 question define crystallization and differentiate between the igneous rocks extrusive and intrusive i touch up these points very uh, in, um, you know in the class about the igneous rocks and different uh, questions we have done uh, if you do the review one and review two review three uh, model question papers which have been practiced in the class so this is very very important question in the point of view writing part as well as in the quiz so please cover these two pages 104 and 105 
so that you will be having uh, good marks in the exam writing part as well as quiz and the uh, 19th question is the process of lithification and compaction and cementation this is very very important also like 18th question so next is the describe how sedimentary and metamorphic rocks are classified and list the common sedimentary uh, rock types so these are the 3d pictures wherever 3d pictures are given there is a chances to uh, give questions in the exam with the pictures so please try to analyze investigate the pictures so that you have a chance to get good marks <coughs> so page number 114 and 117 uh, these are the very important so overall you can cover maximum the topics uh, uh, please as i mentioned that uh, you need to cover the main uh, hypothesis of uh, alfred wegener and study about the different types of rocks okay weathering and uh, erosion deposition as well as the types of reefs or uh, rocks so that you can have a good marks on the exam okay thank you very much for uh, attending my session Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.